All right, so here, well, let's uh, do a problem. Um, we're going to do several problems uh, with, with, all, with uh, all of our um, terrestrial worlds. All right, so, so given the radius of Mercury, um, 2,439.7 kilometers, and um, its mass is uh, roughly 3.3 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms, um, what is the escape velocity um, for, for Mercury in in kilometers per second. And the reason that we do kilometers per second is that um, that's the typical, those are the typical units that are that are given. Remember for the Earth, um, the Earth, it was it was about uh, 11.5 uh, kilometers per second. Okay, so that don't, uh, don't forget that. Remember, we're, we're all, we always try to compare, um, compare stuff to the to the Earth. All right, so here we go. Let's Let's do this. All right. So first of all, we need um, the escape velocity equation. All right. So here it is. So the escape velocity of anything. Right? Isaac Newton gave us this formula. Uh, it is the square root of um, 2 times big G times the mass the, and divided by the radius. All right. So remember, um, Big G is just the universal gravitational constant. Here, let's let's write these things out. All right, so big G. Yeah, it does have units, but if as long as the units for the mass and the radius are the are correct, you you you're okay. All right, so um, it, it's six point six seven times ten to the minus eleventh. All right, um, we're, we're gonna not worry about the units. Um, in this class, all right. So, so uh, it, it, like I said, it does have units. It it makes it so that the escape velocity comes out to be in meters per second squared. Uh, sorry, in meters per second. Sorry, the escape velocity. Um, so when you do when you put the correct units of everything, it comes out in meters per second. Uh, now the mass m has to be in kilograms. And, and and we're you know that that's exactly what that's what it is right there. It's in kilograms, all right. But the radius r, and let me put that over here just to get some room. All right, so the radius r has to be in uh, in meters. So in meters, meters, not kilometers, right? And so it's given to us as as you can see right right you know, right, right here. It's given to us in kilometers, so we get we need to do a we need to do a conversion, and I'm going to do that right here. It's really simple to do. All right, so uh, r is equal to um, this is the radius of Mercury two four um, three nine three nine oops uh, point seven um, kilometers. And of course, in one kilometer, there are a thousand meters, right? 10, 10 to the third meters. So the kilometers cancel. And so you just, just, you know, multiply that times 10 to the third or put three zeros, you know, be, be point, you know, the same would be seven zero zero instead of point seven. Um, same thing. All right. So now let, let's, let's actually go ahead and put the numbers in. Um, and, and then we're going to calculate the escape velocity, keeping in mind um, we're going to need to convert it to if the answer comes out in right here. The answer comes out in meters per second. But then, of course, you know, we just um, divide it by a thousand and uh, we'll, we will get we will get uh, kilometers per second. All right. So um, here, let me let's see. I just had this. Let me repaste this right here so we can look at it. All right, so that goes here and paste. All right, there we go. All right, let's return. All right, so, um, all right, here we go. Uh, so, so, so we, we know that the, you know we just add three zeros to this, or we just say it's uh, the the radius is is two two four three nine point. 7 times 10 to the third. That's perfectly fine. All right here, let me write that down. The radius is 
0.7 times 10 to the third meters. All right, so there we go. All right, and so now our escape velocity. All right, so let's, let's the, the speed at which something has to be traveling to leave the planet Mercury and never come back. All right, so it's going to be two times big G, which is always the same number, 6.67 because it's a constant, times 10 to the minus 11th, right? and then times our mass, which is right here, 3.3, 3.3 right? times 10 to the 23rd. Kil it's, of course, kilograms. I'm going to put the kilograms in here just to indicate that I knew that I was in the right units, and then, and then I'm going to use this for my mass. I, I'm sorry, my, for my uh, radius of the planet. So it's two, four, three, nine, point seven times ten to the third. All right, and of course that has to be in meters. All right, because I, I like to do that because then you know when you look at when you look at your when you look at your um, your work, you you know that you, you you got the mass in the right units and you have the the uh, the radius in the right units. All right, so, so now that they're both in the right units, let's get our calculator out and let's figure, figure out what this is. Here, let me move it over just a little bit. All right, so, um, all right, so it's going to be the square root. Uh, let's see, do I want to do all this at once? Yeah, you, you can, I can actually do this one all at once, all right? So for this calculator, it's going to be, I do, um, so it's the square root of, um, so it's two times, uh, six point six seven. Oops, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I, I think I do. Yeah, yeah. It's this kid. This calculator is a little confusing. Some, so, so look, you, you got to do this. Like, if I had four and then I hit the square root button, so you, you, you got to hit the square root button after afterwards. Um, here, let, let's do that. All right, so what I'm saying is. I'm going to do everything underneath the radical and then take, then hit this square root, this, this button right here, square root. All right, so, so here, let's start again. Two times 6.67 <clears throat> times 10 to the, so remember this one, it's the e EXP button, 10 to the minus 11th, minus 11th, all right, and then times... Um, 3.3, 3.3 times 10 to the 23rd, and then we divide it by 2439.7, you know, you, you could have said 700, but um, anyhow, uh, since I'm already doing it this way, e to the third, all right? And, and so that that's going to give us an answer. And then now if I take the square root of that, right? So this is going to be, give me the square root of this number, right? So there, 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 there's my, there's the, uh, there's the escape velocity from, from, from uh, Mercury. All right. So, uh, let's see. Oh, no, that didn't do it right. Sorry. Sorry. Right here, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm not, this calculator is really strange sometimes. All right, so here, let's, let me try this again. So two times 6.67. This is just to show you that sometimes, um, you know, you got to, you got to keep, you just have to keep trying. Um, all right, so, so I said two times that times the mass times 3.3 times 10 to the 23rd. And then divided by two four. What is it? Three nine point seven. It's not just because I'm talking to you. All right. So this is this is that. All right. All right. So that's it's that number. I'm going to store that just for the heck of it. Um, and then uh, yeah, I don't. I think I know what I did. Anyhow, um, if I take the square root of that. All right, so this should work. All right, so this, there it is. All right, so there's the square. So this, this is the number right here. So 
it would be 4,200 and, um, you know, it depends on how you want to round this, uh, 4,247.8. That's perfectly fine here. Let me, let me write that down. Okay, so that's, oh man, 4,000. Here, hold on. I'll write it right here. Four, four, two. Four, two, I already forgot what it was. Hold on, let me get my calculator here. So it's four, four, two, four, seven point eight. Four, seven point eight. Remember, for the Earth, it's like 11,500. 11, right? And remember, this is meters per second. And now it says to calculate it in kilometers per second. Right? So I just sit there and I say, all right, well, there are 1,000 or 10 to the third meters in one kilometer. All right, very nice. The meters cancel. And so you just divide this by 1,000, which just means move the decimal point over three places. One, two, three. All right, so this here, and we're going to round it to one place past the decimal in this case. So it's four point, since it would be, 4.2, since it's 4.24, I don't round up. I just leave it 4.2 kilometers per second. All right, so that is the proper answer. All right, so that's, uh, and remember, just to just as a comparison, so th this is for Mercury, right? This is the escape velocity for Mercury. That's supposed to mean E. Can't draw on with this thing, Mercury. Uh, all right, so um, just just to compare it, the escape velocity from the Earth, escape from the Earth, yeah, is about eleven point five kilometers per second. All right, so that's um, you know th there's there's an escape velocity uh, example. Okay, so. Um, you know, we've already had the escape velocity in, in on test one. Um, so, you know, you can definitely expect it on test two. And even, you know, test three, when we start talking about the outer planets as well. Um, all right. So uh, in the, the, the reason that this is important um, is the escape velocity is so small that um, you remember, I, I mentioned before uh, that that you, let, let's say some gas molecules, you know, um, get, get close to the surface of, of, of Mercury. Maybe there was a comet that crashed and left some gas molecules. So, so what happens is the sunlight will hit those gas molecules and easily raise the, 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 the temperature alone will raise their, um, their, their speed uh, to to this to this escape velocity. Now now they might not be traveling towards the point. You know if they, if this is the planet, and then you know let's say you'd have some gas molecules moving this way, um, some gal some gas molecules moving this way. If they if they're moving outward, right, in, in you know away from the surface of the planet, then then those gas molecules would leave. But the other ones will eventually you know they'll receive that sunlight. They'll reach this this escape velocity and also be be traveling away from the planet, and and so so they'll 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 actually leave. Um, so and it's just over time. It just it just takes a little bit of time, you know. Certainly, you know, a small amount of time compared to geological time, which which is in the course in, in billions of years. That this is you know maybe maybe a few hundred years at the most at the very most. I'm talking about a comet that had a lot of gas molecules on it. All those gas molecules will escape out into space um, because they're getting that thermal energy from the from the sun. Um, uh, but, but by the way, the what, what you know, it's it, it's just another heat is just another way of talking about uh, the motion of the molecules. Um, it, it's the the greater the heat, the faster the the molecules are moving. All right, so. Um, 
All right, so there's there's the planet Mercury. 